Hello, welcome. Today I am attempting to do a peaceful, realistic, get unready with me, unwind for the evening. I'm going to start out by watering this dock. <laughs> the reason why I said that that way is because I'm a pet sitter and this dog doesn't look like a dog. It looks like a different animal, but it's not hurt me. And oftentimes in life, we see something that is so beautiful and kind of frightening and a great opportunity to make some extra money. And we make a choice to take a risk or to assess that it's not a risk after all. Let me know how your day went, what you did today. Did you make some money? Did you have fun? Did you relax? Did you love on some friends or family members? I invite you to take some deep breaths with me so you can breathe in deep for as long as feels good. Hold it if you want to. Breathe out through your mouth. And just continue with that pattern. Breathe in through your nose for a short while. Hold it if you feel like it for a short to medium while and then breathe out through your mouth for a long time and that should relax you. So on the inhale, you energize your mind and body and on the exhale, you relax. And just that difference between holding your breath and letting it go. As you acknowledge the release of the tension, it can really help your muscles and your mind to release physical and emotional tension as well. I pray that Jesus will bless you with a good evening and a good night's sleep. Now I'm going to answer some questions that I'm guessing you'll have, starting with my face. What's going on here? I went to a homecoming football game. I think that should explain it. I'm happy to explain more in future videos, so feel free to leave comments. Now I'm going to be continuing with my nighttime routine. So here I have this natural antibiotic and none of this is medical advice, obviously. Do I look like a medical professional? If I do, I love that for you and for me. Because medical professionals can look like this, but I am not. I am a pet sitter who used to be a cheerleader. Okay. So this is not medical advice, but this is garlic, oregano, salt, oils, and a bunch of things that the internet told me would help. I am going to the doctor um, to determine whether or not I need real antibiotics, but I think there might be a bit of a, an infection, so we can just stop and pray for healing. Lord Jesus, we just stand in a posture we're ready to receive, Lord Jesus. We bow our heads in acknowledging that your ways are higher, and we fold our hands to rid our hands of distraction, and we close our eyes knowing that spiritually we see you even if we don't see you with our eyes, and just to eliminate our eyes from wandering, looking at this mess on the kitchen table, or, you know, whatever that we have to do. So we just focus on you, God, and we ask, Lord Jesus, for ourselves and our loved ones and your children all over the world, that you would heal us. We thank you that in um, Mark or Matthew, <laughs> Four or five, you say that the multitudes came to you and you healed them all. So we just received that healing. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to let that dog in as I gargle this.
now I'm going to make some tea. I really love dark lipstick because it makes my teeth look whiter in different lighting. You know, sometimes my teeth look really yellow. And as we breathe in, we can think of an insecurity and we can hold our breath and just picture that insecurity being resolved. And as we exhale, we can just release all of that. And our affirmation this evening is inner beauty. For me, that's inner beauty in Christ. And I believe that is true for all humans, all animals, and all of God's creation that we have beauty in Christ. And um, you can create your own affirmation. I do believe Jesus is the truth, the light, and the way. And the only way through the gate is the shepherd who is laying at the, at the gate. And I believe Jesus is that shepherd. I believe the whole Bible. And I think that the Bible is true for the whole world. <sighs> and... Um, I also acknowledge that you might not be dealing with insecurity about your smile or your physical appearance, but if there's anything stressing you out today, feel free to comment below, share your affirmation with me, share your prayer request with me, and I would just love to link arms with you in healing and in prayer. So I'm microwaving some water and I'm going to have this piece tea it's organic by Pukka I actually hate the name of this because it reminds me of the word puke <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah, thank you Jesus for laughter so I'm just heating this up for 30 seconds because I don't want it to be too cold. And look, I do have my client's permission to share their dojis. Look at this doji. Look at this doji. Oh, don't lick it. We have another doji. This doji is actually a creature. <laughs> Kira, get down. You know that sometimes when they try to like hug you on your bare skin, you know, if you've had cats or dogs, occasionally their claws are just, they don't mean to hurt you. They're just like, I just want to hug you. I just want to pet you back. Especially when I'm dealing with a client's animal. You know, we want to be respectful of boundaries and the way they discipline their dog. And yeah, sometimes beautiful things can hurt. <laughs> dog hugs, dogs who pet you, it can hurt. Is there anything that is hurting you right now? It's, it might be a lot more serious than just a dog scratching your shoulder. Ah, oh, but this, this is a safe place where you can share that. Recently, um, today, I was thinking of something that I've been trying to process in a healthy way for about five years now. And I've had many discussions with my husband about this. It's, it has nothing to do with him. Um, but someone I used to be very close with suffered an extreme tragedy that in turn 
you know, it traumatized me a bit. And I'm not ready to share what that is. And I don't know what the rest of my healing journey looks like. But I do know that I can open this dishwasher. And I can find a spoon for my tea. And even though I have this unresolved trauma that I can celebrate, I just put a spoon in my tea. And there were times when I was feeling really bad, when that felt a lot more difficult. So I just celebrate how easy that was for me today. You know, I don't have everything figured out. This video is not perfectly edited. I don't know if I'm going to eat a fifth bedtime snack. <laughs> I think I will. <sighs> I didn't eat that much earlier in the day. You know, like, in hindsight, I wish... I wish my life looked like that perfect version in my head, but I know that I could live my life one of two ways. One way to live is celebrating and over-exaggerating the good and the happiness of each And being so grateful to God that he allows me to accomplish things and acknowledging that accomplishment and the work that I did to make that happen. So that's one way to live. Another way to live is to feel as if I'm in a constant deficit. And I think that's where... We need to take a pause and ask, where do we feel like we are deficient? And what does God's word say about that? And I think that's where we'll pick things up in the next video. So I'm going to end this here because chances are there's something that you're supposed to be doing after you watch this video. And I'd just like you remind, to remind you to do that. I haven't gotten fully unready. And that's part of the realistic situation I'm in. Oftentimes, we think something's going to get done quickly because we see an over-edited video. This video is not edited at all. It's okay if some things take you a long time. So, from a weird sparkly green cat girl that you probably met on the internet, I love you so much and I'm so proud of you and everything you accomplished today. And I'm gonna give you a big hug and say thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And please also remember that I don't usually look like this. Okay. And this this is because I went to a homecoming game. And this all happened in the car. And this is not my best work. This is not makeup. This is face paint. It's an entirely different thing. This is low quality. And now we're going back to our affirmation. We are beautiful on the inside because Christ made us that way. Love you, bye.